Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is March 26th, 2023. And I have an important update for you guys information here that I want to share with you. And another piece of this puzzle that we are trying to understand. I shared with you the other day about event 201 that from October 18th, 2019, uh, adding 1,260 days, a biblical 3.5 years, brings us to the triumphal entry date on the Hebrew calendar of March 31st through April 1st, the 10th of Nisan. That is the day of the triumphal entry. But there's another piece of information here that goes together with this, and it's the fact that if you go from the triumphal entry day forward another 1260 days, it brings us to the day of the Feast of Trumpets on September 11th, 2026. So what we have here is we have a seven year uh, timeline from event 201, event 201, where they began and they planned the COVID pandemic, which began two months later. They planned it on the seventh day of Tabernacles. If you go forward 1260 days, it brings us to the day of the triumphal entry. And another 1260 days, it brings us to the Feast of Trumpets. So there is a seven year uh, biblical timeline from the seventh day of tabernacles in 2019 to the Feast of Trumpets in 2026. And the midway point is the exact day of the triumphal entry on March 31st or April 1st of 2023. Another thing I want to share with you about this is that on the day of the triumphal entry in the book of Joshua, this was the day that they entered into the promised land. On the 10th day of Nisan, the day of the triumphal entry, Joshua 4.19 says, And the people came up out of Jordan on the 10th day of the first month and encamped in Gil Gilgal in the east border of Jericho. So everything that happened during the time of Moses from the exodus of Egypt, out of Egypt, and then spending 40 years in the desert, when they finally were able to come into the promised land, after such a long period of time and after such a long wait, this was the day chosen by God for them to enter into the promised land. Is this a foreshadowing of our entering into the promised land on this same day, on the 10th day of the first month? We also know that on the day of the triumphal entry, the people spoke unto Jesus and said, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. In Luke 13, 35, Jesus tells us, Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. And verily I say unto you, you shall not see me until the time come when ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Something very interesting about Luke 13, 35 is that Jesus talks about a desolation. And he's also talking about the time when we will see him again when it is said, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Does this verse connect us to the seven-year timeline, the middle of the week, which might be now, as we are watching very carefully, the day of the triumphal entry? And if this is a midweek event, then this would be the timing of the midweek abomination because there is a seven-year timeline. And in the middle of the week, the abomination of desolation. And then we have blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. And is the desolation connected to the day of the triumphal entry?
As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you doing this? Say, the Lord needs it and will send it back here shortly. They went and found a colt outside in the street, tied at a doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, What are you doing untying that colt? They answered as Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David! Hosanna in the highest heaven!" <laughs> 